family, welcome back to Anything Alexia. My name is Alexia, and today we're gonna be looking at some creepy stuff. <laughs> we're gonna be looking at the most dangerous toys ever to exist. The kind of toys that are so dangerous that if you're not careful, it might just you, you know? To make sure that your favorite toys don't do anything bad to you, I need you all to smash like right now. Just to be safe. Also, if you want to join the family, hit that subscribe button right now and turn on all post notifications. Let's get into it. <sighs> Number 10, Fearsome Flush. Those well, are toilets. Are creepy, but at the same time, <gasps> fun too. What Kids the in the 90s might know the Ghostbusters series aired on television at those times. Although the toys couldn't do well in the market and got tossed out entirely, a few still have them. The fearsome flush comes in with a wide open mouth and lengthy tongue and round, rolling, eerie, blood red eyes. While it has those frightening factors, nonetheless, it is Ugh. somewhat funny too. <laughs> Sharp teeth like structure engrossed on the sides seem weird. You'll find a scary rubber made ghost inside the cavity, and you have to move the belt back and forth attached to the toy. And that's the fun part of this whole concept, where a scary little monster goes up and down. When you get the toy, you can claim small accessories of ghostly figures that are quite weird. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but did they just say that the toilet has sharp teeth around the rim? Oh, God, that is my worst nightmare. Imagine you're just trying to go to the bathroom, and then you just get swallowed up by some big choppers in your toilet. Your uh, internal apple juice isn't the only thing that's gonna get flushed. You be swimming down that toilet just like a fish be swimming downstream in a lake. Not fun. Number nine, Hugo, a man of 1,000 faces. Hi, Hugo. The concept of the toy is bizarre and creepy. Hugo, the man with a 1,000 faces, was surprisingly Ugh. sold out. And despite its weird features, they received love from some of the kids. Hugo is a bald man puppet and is not a complete figure and stuffed with arms. And you can find several other small accessories that you can fix on the toy. You can practically dress them up to transform them into a disturbing and uncomfortable figure. Okay, can someone please explain to me why our buddy Hugo looks like a servant from the medieval times? What is that dress slash top situation going on? You wearing a dress or is that just a straight jacket? Because I can't tell. Dress them up to transform them into a disturbing and uncomfortable figure. You can give him a ghostly eye or blood-tainted scars. Ugh. The toy was the mastermind of Kenner and started production in 1975. Non-toxic glue comes with this set to create disgusting appearances using distinct eyebrows, <gasps> chins, a reasonably typical nose, but weird-looking, blood-stained bandages. This is the ultimate toy of plastic surgery. Want a new nose? Pop it on. New chin, pop it on. New butt looking object right on top of your bald head. Pop that sucker right on. We ain't spending 50 Ds for plastic surgery in 2021. Mm -mm. Our buddy Hugo can do it for us for free. Also come with the set. All this makes it one of the eeriest toys you can ever Oh, find. it looks so Number weird. Eight, skinny bones. Skitty Bones being a part of the what kids' the heck is series this? was supposed to be a creative <laughs> idea, but ultimately became the spookiest, cranky figure. That's the toy weird. Looks so realistic and is pretty intimidating. It has thin bones and lean appendages, practically made of plastic. The idea of creating such a toy budded for the first time in the minds of Lewis Marx and Company in 1970. Eventually, oh. they had to discontinue the production as the monstrous figure completely collapsed in the kids' world. Oh. Rather than buying and playing with it, the product got sought out as a collector's item. That toy looks so fragile. I swear I just look at it and that thing will snap. Just a little one-two blow of the wind. That tower of bones is tumbling over. This toy takes noodle arms to the next level. Stick man who? Take a seat, buddy. We're talking about skinny bones now. So skinny that they literally broke and probably need a wheelchair now to get around. I guess Stickman ain't so lame after all. Number seven, Cyclops uh, Baby. Oh, that's scary. A is a significant part of a kid's development in early childhood. It makes walking and movements oh. faster. 
But the Cyclops baby stroller didn't follow the legacy completely. The toy comes with a demonic, bloody, and greenish rolling out eyes. The surroundings of the stroller have a color similar to human flesh. When you place a baby in the stroller, it resembles sitting inside a brain cyclops created by Elmer Presley. What kind of baby wants to sit inside a brain? I'm gonna give you the answer. None of them. This poor baby's just sitting there thinking about maybe some milk, what kind of toy they're gonna play with next. But little did they know that their psycho parents thought it would be funny to put their diapered body inside of this Cyclops. Oh man, when that baby turns 15, y'all gonna have a really serious conversation. And it ain't gonna end well. If you wanna scare the kiddos out there rather than bring out the fun in playing, then this monster <laughs> toy stroller is a perfect choice. <laughs> Number six, baby laugh a lot. The toy That's laughs out cute. a lot and is the creepiest part of the whole story. The echoes of laughter fill the space with a negative vibe, giving Ooh. out an eeriness. When the batteries start to go low, the laughter gets really spooky, leaving a spine tingle. According to the rumors so far, the company Remco, which produced the toy, went bankrupt that same year, considering it a bad omen. Maybe they went bankrupt because their company is cursed. I mean, a creepy doll with a creepy laugh and those crazy psycho chopped bangs of hers. Yeah, I'm not getting good vibes either. Later, the company was occupied in 1974 by Azrak Hamway International. I was just shaking so much. During the early 70s, in an advertisement created, you can find the toy laughing out uncontrollably in front of the child, moving back and forth as if it got placed on the top of a rocking horse. Sounds creepy, isn't it? You see those kids in that advertisement? They're like... <laughs> then they start laughing uncontrollably like... <laughs> <laughs> Guys, creepy! Number five, Little Ugh, Miss No Name. That's scary. The dolls look like a poverty-stricken child with no hope in her deep, wide eyes and no dirty, shoes. And frizzy blonde hair. The toy supposedly looks gloomy, <gasps> as if deprived of happiness. As a change in approach from traditional super glam dolls like Barbie, Hasbro designed the plaything in 1965. The theme seems to bring in with a reality check, depicting not all kids have a beautiful life. The toys come in a burlap sack used as a dress oh. and don't wear any makeup or shoes. Despite the approach, the toy couldn't make it big as it wasn't all that jolly to attract kids unless they wanted to care for the doll by their looks and give love that she hopes for clearly shown in her eyes. A large plastic teardrop falling from her eyes is made to add more tenderness to her. It seemed like she was begging with her extended hand put forth. Oh, no, that was just sad. I wouldn't even want that thing in my room because honestly, I feel like that would be a little bit of bad juju. Plus, I'd feel guilty every time I do something good for myself. Maybe I'm just in my room trying to eat a yummy sandwich. Then you just look over to the right and you see that doll. Hungry, starving, probably cold. Wants my sandwich. Then I'm just here I gotta be feeling guilty and stuff? I don't know about you guys, but not my kind of toy. Number four, Jolly Chimp. A monkey in red That's and white stripes fun. and a blood red belt with a cap holding a symbol. And when you press the button, he starts banging the symbol. So how can it be included in the creepy list? Oh. When it hits the symbol continuously, it also looks terrifying. Shaking his head and bloody eyes seems like it's gonna pop out. It makes screeching voices and gives a dreadful grin, making some ghostly whispers. A company based in Japan known as Dashin CK made the battery-operated toy. When you squeeze the head, the monkey shows his teeth and screeches as if it got agitated. <gasps> he remained famous, and various companies started producing it and brought it into the market in different names. In later versions, it had wide eyes with red color painted around it, making it more creepy. Another interesting fact about the toy is that at the beginning of the Conjuring movie, released in 2013, Ed tells certain people not to touch the monkey holding the symbol. Yes, you're right. It's the same one. This toy is so creepy that it got featured in a horror movie. You think that's what these toys are going for when they get put on the shelves? You think after that monkey got featured in the movie, he was like, yes. I made it. I really made it, mom. But uh, to me, I don't 
don't think that's something he should be proud of. Number three, Chucky Dolls. Oh, not Chucky, not Many Chucky, of not you Chucky. Might know the murderous, spooky Chucky ah. doll, featured in the film Seed of Chucky oh. and countless other Chucky films. The recent Child's Play movie featured a <gasps> malicious ginger haired doll, which serves his master after becoming a conduit of the Chicago serial killer, a voodoo practitioner whose soul goes into the spooky toy. Chucky ultimately gets revenge for their master and kills people most terrifyingly. Okay, we know the story of Chucky, okay? We don't gotta hear it again. At least I don't. So what if the plaything got recreated and is available out there for kids to play in the toy world? No, what no, no. a scary no. thought, right? The Chucky toy comes with blood-stained scars and cuts and has an eerie, spine-chilling smile on his face. You might remember now how Chucky comes in the movie with a knife intended to claim lives. Uh, now you know why a simple plaything can be the source of a nightmare. It indeed looks like it'll suck blood from you or gulp your soul. Watch out not to come in contact with this monster as it will genuinely frighten you. Yeah, it will. That doll ain't no joke. And I have zero other comments to say about it. Knock on wood. <laughs> Knock on anything because I don't want that thing to come and get me. You never know. Number two, Jack in the Box. Oh. In the wake of Halloween season, all the toy companies and other industries try to come up with the spookiest thing possible to introduce into the market. When you open the box, a super scary clown will pop out of the box with I don't the want to out. smile and laughter. No, I don't want to pop on the out. giant curled coil on which the evil looking clown remains submerged. <laughs> The pine wood made a sleek box that looks neat I want it to come out, guys. Red, but when you open it, bang! Yeah. He looks as if he's all set to smack someone. Uh. The clown wears a bright and vibrant cloth, similar to vintage clowns available in the market. Uh. But the Jack in the Box clown is pretty hideous. Yeah, that toy is pure deception. Here you have a beautiful, colorful box that you're like, hey, I just got a new toy. You're cranking it, you're cranking it, you're having a good time, and then bam, the scary clown comes out of the box and practically wants to eat you. Okay, maybe not eat you, but curse you, or maybe just frighten you. I don't know, guys, whatever it is, it's unexpected, and I don't like it. Number one, crawling zombie Ew. dolls. Have you watched the film Train to Busan that emphasizes some disfigured humans who turn into bloodthirsty beasts by the bite of an infected zombie? The Ugh. monster then goes on oh. with tormenting the living and keep on expanding their troop. Fear inflicts into the viewer's mind by just watching the movie. What if the nightmare becomes real in the form of a toy? Oh. The crawling zombie is a Halloween version and the evil looking stuff is further alarming when it wriggles on the floor. Can you imagine? You're just trying to sleep in your bed. You open your eyes for just two seconds and you see this thing crawling out from under your bed. Oh, guys, they say nightmares only happen in your dreams. But with this thing, I think it would happen in real life. And make some weird and oh. hair raised voices. And as a bounty, oh, it that has one's creepy too. Gazes. It will slither and start sneaking what happened to that through baby's your head? and make harsh noise. When it crawls on the ground, it screams in a bizarre manner, it cramming screams? the room with a chilliness in the air enough to freak you out and stiffen your bones. As if that toy wasn't already scary enough, they had to add in the scream. Yeah, why wouldn't you, toy company? Sure, you already made a real life demon. You might as well just add that part too. But anyways, family, that is all the extremely dangerous and cursed toys that I have for you today. If you like this video or if you got scared like me, don't forget to like this video. And if you want to join the family, hit that subscribe button and turn on all post notifications. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you all in the next video.